Hi everyone, welcome to Exercise Thought. My name's Lucinda and today, along with John, Kaylin and Tristan, we would like to discuss Achilles tendinopathy. The Achilles tendon is a thick, strong tendon that attaches from the base of your calves right down into your heel bone. And if you push your toes into the ground, you can see it contract. There are two types of Achilles tendinopathy. The first one is mid portion in which you would feel pain more so up here. And then there's insertional where you would feel pain more so at the base of your heel. The Achilles tendon can become quite painful, swollen or stiff if a tendinopathy is present. Achilles tendinopathy is most often seen in people who perform a lot of repetitive movements that put the Achilles tendon under load, such as running. The cause of Achilles tendinopathy is often associated with a recent increase in volume or intensity of activity. This change in activity level can result in gradual onset of dull pain in our Achilles area. The pain should present usually in a fairly precise area, often being able to point to it with one finger, not so much in a, dull, in a general area. The pain can be brought on increasingly by higher velocity type movements, such as jumping or hopping. And during exercise, there's often what we call a warm-up effect present where as we increase our exercise, the pain may go away. However, coming back after we finish this exercise in a stronger fashion. Often the Achilles will feel stiff in the morning, feeling like it takes a little while to warm up, warm up and get moving. And it's important to note that this condition can be present in both a person with a sedentary lifestyle and someone who's quite active as well. There are many other conditions that present similarly to Achilles tendinopathy. If your symptoms aren't matching with the ones we mentioned before, you might be experiencing another condition. For example, a rupture of the Achilles tendon will have presented with a popping sound on the moment of injury and a sharp pain, likely associated with sudden movement from this movement to this movement. Um, and another example would be inflammation of another structure underneath the Achilles tendon, which will present with more pain along both sides of the tendon and in the center of it, rather than only at the base or only in the center. Uh, pain associated with another tendon um, in the foot might also present in a similar region, but maybe more along the inside of the foot and ankle, such as in this region or in this region. Pain in the back of the heel that eases with this motion and worsens with this motion may also be another condition. Um, your physiotherapist will assess the cause of your ankle or heel pain and determine an appropriate treatment plan for you. There are four broad treatment stages for Achilles tendinopathy. First, you will need to manage your pain. This will be achieved through load management and a combination of individualized therapies, which may include ice and static strengthening exercises. Next, you'll need to start to strengthen your lower limb through an increasing range of motion. In stage three, it's important to improve the tendon's capacity to store and release energy. So the focus will shift to exercises which involve jumping and landing. The final stage is return to play. Again, this will be completed in a measured way to build resilience while trying to avoid flare-ups. These stages should be thought of as a continuum rather than a rigid structure. The patient's capacity and their response to treatment will dictate the best approach rather than simply sticking to the formula. This is why load management is critical in your recovery. Some flare-ups will occur. That's normal and it's okay. Your physio will help guide you through the process. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact Exercise Thought.